Parsus the Arcanist decided to merge with Mistril, the Neferis deity of magic. The result was catastrophic. When his essence combined with Mistril's, the deity lost the ability to maintain the weave. The goddess sacrificed herself to save the weave before the damage became irreparable, but in so doing she temporarily obstructed the weave, ending its connection with Pharon. Cassus was killed by the experience, just as he had predicted, but he did not gain Mistril's divine power for a period long enough to wield it successfully. The wholesale cessation of magical energy sent arcane shockwaves throughout Pharon, since all spells and wondrous items ceased to function abruptly. The survivors of this catastrophe and their descendants were responsible for the rise of the now ruined empires of Anoria, Londaf, and Assam, but Nephril itself was gone. Eventually, Mistral was able to reincarnate herself and restore the weave to its proper state, but it was too late for the people of Nephril. The folly of Cassus had done what the Pharaohs had been unable to do, the Neferis Empire was no more. The body of Cassus, made gigantic by the influx of divine energy, fell to earth as he died. It shattered, leaving a silent reminder of his folly to future wizards, a single redstone butte at the base of a high cliff, in what is now the dire wood. A single flying city miraculously escaped the catastrophe unscathed, purely by happenstance. The city's ruling noble, a powerful arcanist, had for some time been experimenting with movement between Faerun and the Plain of Shadow. His studies eventually enabled him to move not only himself freely between the two, but other people and objects as well. In the weeks preceding the cataclysm, the arcanist known to the City of Shade only by his chosen sobriquet of Lord Shadow had already contemplated the feasibility of moving an entire flying city into the plain to which he had been traveling for some time. He gave the order for the city to prepare itself for the experiment mere days before Cassus cast his spell. On the very eve of the disaster, Lord Shadow transported his entire city, and all its inhabitants, to the Plain of Shadow. Once there, he was pleased to see that his predictions were correct. The city and its citizens suffered no immediate ill effects from the journey. However, he was concerned and dismayed by the discovery that, for reasons he did not yet understand, he was unable to move the city back to Faerun. Unraveling this mystery took weeks, and when the city returned to Nephril its inhabitants, could only gape with horror at what it found. For days the city journeyed across the ruins of Nethril, searching desperately for survivors, to no avail.